What's up, you snoopers? This is my integrity. Y'all probably wonder why I ain't did no videos with it lately. What well, the truth is, it conked out on me. Try to find out why it conked out on me. I was driving, right? And one day I was driving. I got off the freeway, came to a stoplight. And when it was trying to jam on, the car wasn't going gear. I tried first, second, third, it wouldn't go. The car's behind me getting real impatient. So what I did, I forced it into second, I mean, uh, first. And uh, it scraped and, and you could tell like that the clutch wasn't disengaging. It was weird. I was on the clutch pedal. Clutch pedal was soft. I'm gonna show you right now. Still kind of soft. Push it down. It come up some, but see that? It ain't, it ain't coming all the way up. It ain't on the floor, but the pressure just ain't there, man. So I'm gonna see what's up. But I got it in first and got up out of there but every time I came to a light which is I tried not to stop it just wouldn't go back in gear ever since then this member jam has been sitting so I'm gonna try to bleed it again the right way and I also have a slave that I'm gonna try to put on it so bear with me there's a couple tricks I was told to try and uh one of them is to pinch off if you have a rubber line going to the slave cylinder um one of the tricks supposedly is to pinch it off and see if the, the, the pressure get in the pedal and if it does, air in the line. So let me pinch that thing off of my teeth. All right, so if you come back around, chow. I got vice grips on this hose. You don't want to pinch it hard enough to where you rip the hose and be squirting fluid all over the place. I tried it with my teeth, but I ain't as bad as I thought I was, so I went and grabbed the vice grip. They on there. Now let's check this pedal. Let's check this pedal down, chow. Oh my goodness. The pedal hard in the mother. Yeah! Yep, 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 yep. All right, I got it in. Let it out. I gotta adjust the dust to this play right there. <clears throat> now, take the, the clamp off of the, the holes right here. All right, so now we got that out of the way. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to bleed it again. Yeah, so you gotta do it one pump open instead of a bunch of times like the brake system. But I'm by my lonesome, so I'm gonna do it on the outside and it'll actually get all the air out of the slave cylinder too. All you have to do is push this in. Well, I thought I'd go push it in. Oh, this bad boy hard. Did it, ooh, did it work already? <laughs> I can't even push it in. I might have fixed it already. Before it was soft, then I was able to push it in with my hand. Okay. All right, so I couldn't push it back with my hand by myself. Had some good amount of pressure in it. But just make sure your reservoir is full. Don't let it get below the, the, uh, the low mark. Got my beautiful assistant in there, my wife, my baby son right there. So I'm show y'all how to bleed this dang on thing. All right, uh, you pressing on it? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So she already pressed it once. Get you a eight miller, 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 eight miller, miller. And what you gonna do? If you can see that. While she pressing on it, just open it. Let's see if I can move, grab the camera with this hand so y'all can see. Just open it. See a straight fluid right there. You want to make sure it ain't no no bubbles, air bubble. That's straight fluid, so that's pretty good. Also, this thing don't go all the way in. We open it. So what I usually do is give it a, another little tug. Um, see that? Yeah, get a little more. Hey, hey. Oh. Get all that out of there. Get it all out. All right, so the pedal go get stuck to the floor. You just gotta pull it up with your foot. You hear me? Do it again. There you go. She's stepping on it. It's all the way to the floor? Okay. Make sure it's all the way to the flow. 
then just keep doing it as you can see the fluid is dirty i'm just trying to get all that fluid out because it's already i don't see no bubbles in it so it should be good already i just want to get the clean fluid out so open it again once you got it to the flow see how black that is now we're gonna do it in one more time so like i said i don't have no air in it because i don't see no bubbles i'm just trying to get the clean fluid out so uh this one get some clearness you, you stepping on it all right Ivan, right, don't do that oops i had it right the first time come on now there we go all right so we'll color this come out all right so that's getting clear that's getting clear. Okay. Hold me one more time. She won't have me. Yeah. See that? That's clear. That's how you want it right there. Nah, why? Alright, so close it back up and we should be done. Alright, so uh, I'm finished bleeding it as you can see. Why? It's coming back up. Right now it's solid. I don't have that play no more. See that? Now I just want to see where it bite though, cause I don't like my clutches to bite all the way up. I need at least halfway, you know what I'm saying? So I got pressure back. I just need to see if this thing works. So I let y'all know. I'ma uh, turn this thing on and see where the clutch bite. Man, I'm starting to hate this car though. Look at this. I fired it up one time. I cut it off. Check this out, man. You hear that? Dang on starter went out, man. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 If it ain't one thing, it's another. I push started, it was fine. I took that wire, you know, you can get a wire and uh, touch the... Um, Man, I can't even think right now. But if you get a wire, you can touch the power part of the star starter for the solenoid. And usually it'll, it'll get the starter to spin if ain't nothing wrong with your, your wiring and all that kind of stuff. It won't even do that, man. This car is becoming a headache. A head ache. So I can't even see if the clutch where I want it because the stupid car, I had it running, but I cut it off to do something when I came back. It was game over. It was like, mm -mm, not again. That is ridiculous. Oh, man. So I guess you know what the next video will be about. Let's see here. How to install a starter on a raggedy ass Integra. Like, subscribe. Son of a. This ain't over.